Monarch thought we wouldn't figure it out, but they were very, very wrong. Roll the intro. Hello. How's it hanging dudes? My name is Sean and welcome back to our very first fully scripted Gojira video. As we all know, the Monarch site has been live for quite a while with Godzilla you know, going dark for a while and then resurfacing. We were able to acquire the full Crimson clear Clearance status from Monarch. We were able to produce decent speculation on Mothra, Rodan, and Ghidorah. So they won't make it into this video. Um, I'll just hover over their locations just so you can be caught up if you haven't yet. However, that's it. That's all we got. We are prevented from having access to any other Monarch site. So in the spirit of the late great Heisenberg Joe Brody, I set out to infiltrate Monarch and find out what they are hiding from us. No, they are what they are hiding from the world. We demand to know and we have a right to know. I went to work. Mining the metadata produced little results. Their servers are unhackable. Whoever is in tech that is working for Monarch knows what the hell they're doing. But this highly secretive organization hasn't been able to cover up everything. They couldn't hide it all. So old fashioned research it is. This has taken so long to complete guys, putting so much work into this. So <laughs> you know, hit that like button for support, the gods demand it. So. I have come up with a procedure on the best way to deduce what is or could be in each site. Taking the geographical locations, pairing it to the ancient kaiju artifacts in those locations, while at the same time adding in the significance of the ancient structures and even considering recent history for each site that also um, alludes to or has pieces of the actual MonsterVerse canonical um, timeline or storyline I guess you know however you want to say the, the, the canonical canon of the franchise I've discovered that not every location contains a kaiju some uh, research kaiju hotspots some are destroyed either by monarch or by kaiju the, that are now loose and monarch hasn't told us then there are the sites that uh, are currently holding kaiju that are you know more than uh, than the three that we know of I have come to the conclusion that we have to use the SKS system what is the SKS system? I thought you'd never ask. It stands for Site, Kaiju, and Status. Site or the name of the site at each location. Kaiju or the name of the potential Kaiju at each containment or research or destroyed facility. Uh, status or uh, is the Kaiju at each site contained, deceased, active, or actively researching or destroyed? What is that particular facility's status? Now I have to say that there are that there is no way that I am right about every one of these sites, but I have narrowed down all the possibilities of what could be housed or researched at each site. Some kaiju have the potential to be housed in multiple locations, like for example, if there's uh, the Kamakuras or uh, like the the. Um, or the, like the mantis type of thing that we've seen in the monarch files before like they literally can not just be on Sokal Island they can be in multiple multiple locations just because the biome and the natural surroundings um, and a lot of the ancient artifacts that depict certain kaiju that look like that um, allows for them to potentially be there and some of these kaiju aren't just one kaiju there are some of them are a species of kaiju right so and a lot of them have made it past extinction and um, procreated. There wasn't just one left. So which facility they are actually in is really anyone's guess, but it can be. Uh, it can only be one of the sites I've narrowed them down to. Some sites, though, are obviously scarily so um, confirmed. So okay, I guess we've dicked around for long enough. Let's get started. We'll be going through them uh, kind of quickly. Um, I'm not. I can't give like all of my full extensive research for why I chose which um, kaiju for each site. Um, if there is any kaiju or sites that you either disagree with, think I should expand on, or you want to know why I think that that kaiju might be there, um, 
let me know in the comment section below the the video or the the video the the containment facility uh, the site that gets the most love the most um, attention the few of them that do the ones that, that are most perplexing to you guys uh, we'll make a video on that there's so much that we need to make a video uh, on within the monsterverse and i've been doing a lot of research and my literally like i had a godzilla a video list and it was like six or seven videos uh, list long it's now two pages it's now two pages from just from doing this research so anyways let's go ahead and get right into it we're going to start here at skull island and we're going to work our way up and around site skull island or monster island kaiju mega primatist kong among others status stable and researching Skull Island is full of many different kaiju like the V-Rex and Skullcrawler, but the most notable is Kong. Monarch uh, still makes obvious attempts to nurture Kong and research the Hollow Earth. Hollow Earth is a pseudoscience that fits into um, the, moder the monsterverse, and it will come up in this video a little bit as we go. Maybe a potential speculation on ab about this later in a different vid. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section. All right, moving on. Number two. Uh, the site is Montana Megaliths. Kaiju potential uh, it has a potential to house maybe Angerus. It also has uh, this the native bird artifacts uh, in the Montana megaliths. Um, it could depict Rodan, so the natives there might be worshiping Rodan uh, or the the old ancient natives, and that's the reason why we have these Birdman artifacts. Or because it's a slightly um, you know a, a desert kind of environment, a rocky environment, Angerus mm, possibly might be there. Um, it's also either dormant if there is a kaiju or researching. And also, a lot of these sites you do know that they don't, they, it's 100% restricted. We don't even know the name of the place. We have to literally like research certain areas. Like, for example, number three, Tennessee. Um, if you look on the map of, you, of United States, you know where Tennessee's at, you'll know that this facility would be in Tennessee. Upon further research, you find out that um, it is in Tennessee and it's part of the Tennessee Valley uh, Authority cover up site. Uh, Gamera, uh, King Takora, or Gizora might be the kaiju that is actually housed here. Um, ancient mound builder artifacts and uh, cephalopod fossils um, depict, uh, or, <laughs> excuse me, the mound builder artifacts depict um, uh, kaiju of, of these types, because Gizora and stuff like that. And back in uh, ancient times, Tennessee was actually underwater anyways, which is kind of ironic because now the Tennessee Valley Authority has flooded a lot of these um you know, kaiju sites, uh, artifact sites. There's also a huge host of cephalopod uh, fossils. Um, take that for what it is. That can mean a lot, but it definitely means that there might be a potential for some sort of aquatic kaiju. Status, uh, researching or dormant, depending if there is or isn't kaiju there, but they're always researching. <laughs> it's in, pretty much in every single one besides the one that's destroyed. So number four, the Bermuda Triangle. Um, it could house a Gamera or Amanda, obviously. Um, it's researching or dormant. Tetakoa, Tetakao, uh, I'm sorry, sorry, Columbia. Uh, Tetakoa Desert um, is the site of number five, and uh, Kumanga Kamara Kamakuras, I'm sorry, I'm so horrible at names, guys, which have been found outside of SoCal Island, and obvious, uh, obvious it has the potential to hold Angerus as well. So um, any one of these three kaiju could potentially be here, believe it or not, because the Kamakuras, um, there's a forest surrounding that area. So it's not even, you may be a skip, hop, and a jump, and they can be right into a forest, especially down by Peru where the Nazca lines are, which brings us to number six, Nazca lines in Peru. Um, no kaiju, but it's likely um, a heavy emphasis on researching here. Um, because of the Nazca lines and because of the artifacts and everything else that goes with Peru, uh, all of the uh, sites that archaeologists have un uncovered over the years, there is just a heavy, heavy, heavy uh, leaning towards native worship of, of these kaiju. All right, so moving on to number seven. Way up here is Loch Ness, Scotland. That's right. I know. I was going to get you a lot of you guys excited, right? Okay, kaiju. Manda or Cryptoclitus. And if anybody know what Cryptoclitus is, obviously it's like a plesiosaur. It's, it's Loch Ness, you know? So I think that if they do anything with Loch Ness Scotland within the next movie or next two movies, it's probably going to be a, a, a Cryptoclitus um, just because, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I never do say anything right. Because I, Manda, Manda is, while Manda would be appropriate, Manda def definitely does not give off um, a, a Nessie feel. Cryptoclitus does. So, you know, I'm kind of leaning towards that, but it could be Manda. I don't know. 
Um, or it could be either one of those, but the fuck do I know, right? Anyway, okay. Researching or contained is probably what that is, most likely. That's the status on number seven. Moving over, uh, number eight, Central Europe. Gazora or um, regular research for ancient cave uh, cave paintings that depict kaiju. Now, why do I think Gazora might be housed here? Because um, Gazora is known to have attacked the mainland. Um, I can't remember if it was um, a manga or if it was a... Um, a uh, Oh, I can't remember what movie. Was. Oh, anyways, but Gazora is known to have attacked, um, uh, come out of the Mediterranean Sea and attacked Europe um, at, at some point in time. And actually the recent, very recent history. Um, so that's why reason why Gazora could have been contained there um, and or it could still be active. We don't know. But definitely ancient cave paintings that depict kaiju in these, um, you know, in the ancient Germanic areas, really. So researching uh, and contained, obviously. Maybe. We don't know. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't know. It could be active. If Gazora is there, it could be active. And this it's pretty. It might be a pretty good hot spot. Number nine, Morocco. Um, Chakras. Chakras might be the kaiju that's there. And there's also a host of trilobite fossils, some of the most, most well-known tri uh, trilobite fossil um, excavation area. Uh, hollow Earth, definitely. There's 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 holes that lead into the Earth, which means potential kaiju could come out. Kaiju you've never seen before. Different, many different mutos. Okay, so Destroya's microscopic form was also a trilobite of sorts. So, you know, I'm not trying to say that it definitely confirms Gazora or, or Gazora Destroya or anything like that, but trilobites. Morocco is a containment facility. Trilobites are in Morocco. Destroyer's microscopic form is a trilobite. Maybe they're researching that for Destroyer. Destroyer has been being tossed around a lot here lately. I don't know, but definitely Shocker is, could, is definitely the one that, um, I guess, torments Morocco or has been in Morocco before. So, you know, again, if you guys want to know anything about this and why I think certain, certain uh, kaiju are here or there or wherever, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll talk to you there. And if some of these have some of these get, you know, a whole bunch of questions or um, a whole bunch of support or anything like that, I will definitely make a video about it. So moving on to number 10, the Nile ruins, Egypt. OK, so this has to be confirmed it is it's there's so much lore on it. There's it's so it's so much of a so much of a well written and established canonical lore. Um, it has to be Sobek protector of the Nile, defender of the world, and a god. Sobek um, was, a, was a god who embodied himself in a kaiju to protect Egypt. And because um, the Egyptians started worshiping Sobek so much more than all the other gods like Ra, um, they got jealous and they themselves put themselves into kaiju uh, in the flesh form. Sobek ended up defeating them, banishing them to the heavens forever. And Sobek uh, declared that he was the protector of the Nile and the defender of humanity on this world. So, if Sobek isn't in the Nile ruins of Egypt, that could potentially, you know, pee off a lot of super super fanboys, and or at the very least, just kind of destroy their own their own, you know, canon. They were definitely rewriting stuff at that point. So which they've already written, right? So why would they? So hieroglyph research is obviously going on here. And if Sobek is here, which he has to be, it's damn near confirmed. Um, he's dormant. He's definitely dormant. And when I guess whenever Rodan, all the other ones could pop up, maybe we see Sobek. I know that's a stretch and Mothra is going to be definitely doing a lot of the protecting, but at least we know that there are other kaiju like Sobek and, um, you know, others that do protect humanity so that's definitely good maybe we're evening the eyes when we look at the monster verse in a full scope so number 11 um the site is ruins of sudan uh, the kaiju are uh goro Sukus, and it's technically confirmed um the status is destroyed or salvaging research um there's actually a whole a thread on this an actual um a full established backstory um goro Sukus, um uh, destroyed this containment facility. He escaped. They tried to contain him. Um, and we know this by uh, the ruins of Monarch being there. There's Monarch signs all over the place. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much established. This is a thing. Um, so I would be highly, if there's so much information on this online, and it's not just fan information, it's on actual credible sites and stuff like that. So if um, Gorosukas is not in the ruins of Sudan in this containment facility or destroyed or something like that, 
um, why would they even include this containment facility here, right? And make it would make no sense. It would just be very confusing if Gorosuchus was not here. So, all right, Israel. Um, well, this is obviously can only mean one thing: the biblical story of Behemoth, Leviathan, and Ziz, right? Those are the kaiju. the The site is Israel, and obviously they're researching. Um, Behemoth, Leviathan, and Ziz. It'd be kind of hard to contain all of them. Um, in one area, and I don't know if uh, if they'll ever pop up into the MonsterVerse like fully. However, if Israel is here, it has to be a nod to Behemoth, Leviathan, and Ziz because they are the most kaiju esque, um, and obviously the ancients uh, people would 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 think that their gods, which are kaiju, would be depicted this way, right? So obviously they're researching that, and these kaiju may have been defeated in the past, or maybe just completely dormant, and uh, they just want to know more about them to learn about other kaiju. Maybe take that for what it is, but it's definitely a nod to Behemoth, Leviathan, and Ziz. However, that nod is you know established or taken. So number thirteen, Central Siberia, Jirorama, Jirorama. This is almost confirmed as well. Um, there's so much information on this. There's a, a large containment facility that Soviet allowed monarch symbol can be seen from an aerial view. The facility is that big. The site is Central Siberia. The kaiju is Jirorama and the status we really don't know we don't know if it's contained we don't know if it's active we don't know if it's dormant we just know that there's a huge facility there and the russians are allowing monarch to be there and fully and work fully um maybe being uh, monitored we don't know but that right there t says a lot that there's such a huge containment facility here what are they hiding there um but many people didn't even know that we won't even know about this like it took so much information just to figure this out I guess they don't think that, that we search for things, that we dig for stuff, that we look for things. Come on, Monarch. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're just as resourceful as you are, if not more. Number 14. Um, the site is Jinjira, Japan. Uh, it's uh, The kaiju is obviously the Muto male that's nest there, and um, the site is destroyed, but they're obviously still researching um, the remains, stuff like that, and what's in that area. Number 15. Um... Australia. Um, Australia has to either be Angerus or Scissor. Um, yes, yeah, I know, Scissor, right? Okay, so researching a native kaiju cave art um, and it's contained. The reason why Australia is kind of hot is because it's been in other movies. That's right, it's been in other movies and Monarch has a containment facility there and Monarch's appeared in other franchises, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So, also, both owned by Legendary. Moving on, moving on. Number 16, Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat, however you want to say that. Cambodia. Uh, Kemakuris uh, has been seen in the Monarch film, uh, in the film file, and it's filmed in the surrounding area of Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, that that area. And they're obviously researching. Um, there's, so many, there's so many artifacts, there's so many kaiju, um, you know, monoliths and stuff like that so they have to they they have to research there there that's that's a given and if there is come a curse all around this area they're probably trying to contain as many as possible okay so there we have it some of these facilities are speculatory while others are confirmed within the monsterverse canonical lore line if any of you noticed uh, any Pacific Rim crossover, drop down in the comment section, uh, you clever, clever bastards. So, <laughs> so, so keep this video. Um, so to keep this video from being an hour long, I couldn't include the full extent of all of my research. It did. It took over a day. So if there are any locations you think we need to um, expand on or further explain which contain kaiju uh, and why they're there and others, then drop down below. Uh, yes, kaiju repeat and uh, it could they could be in many locations, but you know, as other kaiju just really didn't fit. Uh, like there's some, there's many kaiju I didn't add, but they really don't fit. Like Gazora, Gazora and water-esque kaiju aren't going to be in, you know, big dense forests or deserts. They're just not. And um, based off some of all of the artifacts and stuff like that that I've been looking at for each site, I, I would imagine that Monarch would place certain kaiju that look like certain artifacts in that certain area. So that's the reason why, you know, like Kamakuris and stuff like that, they all keep repeating because obviously they would be the most prevalent in that area. The locations that show the most love and curiosity in the comment section will get their own video. 
If you think I'm wrong in any way or have picked the wrong kaiju for any, each location, please feel free to correct me in the comments and I'll uh, consider changing or explain my reasoning to you. I'm also very sorry for not having an upload ready yesterday, but it took a hell of a long time, guys, for this video. So smack that like button. Gotta have it. This, this video took an insane amount of time and I sacrificed a day for ha not having a video in the algorithm just to do this video for Godzilla, which is not the main flagship series for my channel, right? So, yeah, that's, that's a lot of dedication, guys, a lot of dedication. Uh, all for you, all for you, you know, don't feel guilty. All you can do is smack a like, it's not hard. Anyway, I'll have another documentary prep video coming out soon. And how would you guys feel about potentially making a novella which um, goes into detail about the DBG fan story, backstory, right? Uh, we might have to do a small crowdfund for that, a very small one, just so we can streamline it and get it done right properly and publish it for you guys to have. Uh, either way, um, I appreciate you guys, like always, so much more than you know, and I mean that, honestly. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget, I'll see you in the next one. You had me at hello. Oh, baby, you, you got what I need.